But that special guest I want to bring on the air as quick as I can. His name is Peter Krupski from the Plymouth Whalers. He broadcasts the hockey games there that are so important to the Junior League, the Ontario Junior League. Welcome, Pete. Joe, thanks. Um, I've been watching and listening uh, to you for a long time, and uh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you very much for those kind words. Uh, well, first of all, I want to get into the subject of the, the Plymouth Whalers. The Ontario Junior Hockey League has scouts who travel all over to the small towns of America and Canada, yep. finding hockey players to play on their teams. That's correct. Uh, our, our draft called the OHL Priority Selection uh -huh. happens in the first weekend in May. And uh, the Whalers, along with every other, not only team in the Ontario Hockey League, but the Canadian Hockey League, has scouts, maybe a dozen or so, and they all take various areas in Ontario or uh, Michigan or the United States. And our draft is almost exactly the same as the National Hockey League draft. It's 15 rounds, and um, we draft players out of the, the high-caliber AAA uh, youth programs like, uh, say, Compuware or Honey Baked or Belt, Detroit Bell Tire, but a lot of uh, the Canadian programs as well. And uh, very few free agents. In other words, uh, Joe Gannon might have an 18-year-old uh, nephew, you just can't call us up and say, hey, can I try out right. for the Whalers? It doesn't happen that way. Um, but that's how most of the players are, are acquired through uh, the OHL priority selection. We also have what's called the Canadian Hockey League import draft. Um, teams can are allowed to have two uh, non-North American players. So typically these are European players. Okay, I see we've got one or two uh, on the Plymouth Whalers, right? We've got, we've got two young men, uh, one from Sweden, Ricard Raquel, one from Switzerland, Dario Trutman, and uh, they were fortunate enough to play for their countries in the, the recent World Junior uh, Championships in Buffalo, New York. Well, if you want to do something for tickets... You want to sponsor somebody that's uh, doing something good for the kids of today. It's the Plymouth Whalers hockey team that plays on the weekends at the uh, CompuWare Ice Arena. It's something that everybody should get a chance to see. If you're not a hockey fan, you just attend one game. You'll love it. You'll become a hockey fan real quick. Well, like we, we like to say, Joe, if you go to one Whalers game, you'll get hooked. Oh, yeah. It's great <laughs> hockey. The talent yeah. is terrific. And the work ethic is as strong as it can be in the game of hockey. Well, you wonder where NHL players get uh, their work ethic. A lot of times it, it starts in the in the Ontario Hockey League or the Western League or the Quebec Major Junior League. Yeah. Well, how long have we got here, Brian, before just the, the end of the show? We're going to wrap it up now. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to the guy behind the camera here, uh, Keith Dotson, and to uh, Jeff Pullman for showing up here today. They've done a terrific job. But a special thanks to you, Peter Krupski, for the fine work and the career that you've headed off into in the world of hockey. You're a great broadcast voice. I'm telling you, someday you're going to win that Foster Hewitt Award. Well, Joe, you're very kind, and, and I've been very fortunate. But, uh, you know, I love what I do, and uh, uh, I'm fortunate to be able to find something I do love to do. But uh, you've been very kind to me, and, uh, of course, you're welcome at, at CompU Arena anytime. And we'll help you any way we can. Good evening, hockey fans across Canada, Great Britain, Newfoundland, and the United States. This is Joe Gannon. Thanks, Pete, for being with us today. You've done a terrific job, as you always do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next game. Plymouth Whalers coming up. Here I am, Joe Gannon. Thanks for listening to the Appliance Doctor Radio Show.